big coop. It's approximately about 160, almost 170 square feet in here. And we got it all ready for 100 meat chickens coming. Cornice crosses, they'll be here in two days. Actually, they got shipped out today. There's some feeders and stuff. We got some bedding for the first week. We're going to have them on bedding. And then after that, we'll use just regular hay. Uh, but we're excited. I'm very excited. There is some feed to get started for the first week. We're going to use some just starter grower. We went all natural. I know a lot of people want recommend medicated feed, but we're going to try to do everything as natural as possible. Uh, there's a couple of hundred pound bags of feed that they'll start after the first week of starter grower. And so we even ordered them from a place that we felt real comfortable in being as natural as could be. So, but they'll be here in two days. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video series. Actually, it will all be one, but I'll, I'll do some clips here and there of, of um, from start to finish when they come here to butchering. And so it should be a pretty neat video when I'm all done. Going to take about seven and a half, eight weeks. But there we are. All right, guys, I'm going to introduce you to our new friends. Go check them out back here. And there they are. Hi, guys. Whoop. Door slam. Scared him a little. So that's a hundred and four chickens. <laughs> um, we had 105, but one died. And But they all, the rest seem to look pretty lively right now. But that's what they look. We kind of barricade them. Actually, this whole thing here is part of the coop but we barricaded them in here with these bales and boxes because they keep trying to get out and um, they keep running all the way over here and I want to keep them under the light for the first week at least and but there they are take a look at them hi guys nice and toasty down there it's supposed to be a nice hot weekend too so they should be pretty good. All right, week two, actually it's been about nine days and we opened the coop up, the whole coop up to them, but this is a week two update and they are pretty big. They're about three times the size. Their wings all have feathers on them. They're getting tail feathers as you can see. And uh, they're pretty active now. They eat like crazy, <laughs> uh, drink like crazy. We got their water off off the ground, but um, they are doing pretty good. So this is week two update. Okay, here is our weekly update on the chickens, our meat chickens. These guys are four weeks old now. They're getting a lot bigger. Running out of room in the coop, eating nonstop. So they're looking good, and I'll show you a close-up of them. They're getting to that lazy stage where they don't want to walk as much. They got almost all their feathers now, so we don't need the heat lamps on. Plus, it's like 90 degrees here, outside. So they're getting big, oh, about halfway there. Kind of do the butchering stage. Well, it is week number five. Actually, it's a little over five weeks, about five and a half weeks. I didn't get a chance this last weekend to do a video. But as you can see, they are just getting big. Just compared to like how up my hand, just so you can see how big they are. So, but they are growing just they eat so much food it ain't even funny but they are growing big <laughs> overtaking the coop now so we are approximately 
two and a half weeks from butchering day. And uh, so we're getting all ready for that. We're pretty much ready for it. We just gotta do a few little things, get you know our packing stuff and bags and items like that. But they're all nice and healthy. We have 99 still. And they are, like I said, growing, growing quick. They have mostly have all their feathers. I've been leaving it open at night because it's been so hot. I've been leaving these two windows open. <clears throat> and it cools down pretty good during the day, so. Week number update. Week seven. Week seven update. Week seven update. Like one more time. <laughs> Say it one more time. <laughs> Week seven update. Week seven. Week seven update. Okay, here's the week seven update of our meat chickens. And they are fat. And they're dirty. Hi, chickens. They're waiting for more food. So we'll probably have to feed them some more food. They all come to the door and want to see you. Because they want more food. I get them more food. So, wait a minute. I'm taping right now, honey. They're walking all over the coop. They're running out of space. But they're getting there. How big they are. Oh, they're nice. Say hi. Hi, chicken. Hi, chicken. Are you blowing on it? They're getting ready to be butchered soon. We're getting ready to butcher them soon. And they will be tasty. And I think the coop needs cleaned again. Almost every single week they need cleaned out now. That's how dirty it gets in here. But we're getting closer and it's almost time to go. So there's a week seven update on our on our meat chickens. All right. Today is butchering day. I'm gonna show you our setup. Uh, there are our killing cones. What we'll do is drain them into buckets. And from there, they'll go over to here this is just a basic turkey fryer. Uh, we use it, we'll heat it up to about 150 degrees. And then from there, they get dunked uh, about 30 seconds or so. They'll go over to here, the plucker. And this is actually brand new, so it's never been used before. Then from there, they'll go over here to the butchering table. There'll be two of us over here. And We'll be sitting here and got plenty of knives. Uh, got a hose here to rinse off with as well. Uh, but then we will butcher them and then these we will pack with ice and cold water and we'll put them back in here to soak uh, once they are all cleaned up. So pretty, pretty neat little system here. They'll go from the cones to the, to the scalding, to the plucker, to the table. To there and then after they soak we're gonna take them in the garage and we'll pack them all in in plastic bags so we're getting ready to butcher okay. <laughs> these are called killing cones and these are this is how we butcher the chicken we do two quick slices Chicken. What we do is you dip it in here, about 140, 150 degrees, for about 20 to 30 seconds. Watch it, so you can see a good shot of it. I want to. You want to get all the feathers as you can, all the way down to the leg, because they all won't come off as good as the plucker. Kind of want to stir it around to make sure you get all in there. Take it out. Take it over to the 
going to be done in about 20 to 30 seconds. Got a few left on there, but some of the bigger ones you can pluck off your hand. It's pretty good, pretty clean. Nice. And then we'll go over the table and I'll show you how we cut it up. Okay, you can see we got our, our chicken right here. And the first thing I'll do is we'll take the legs off. And if you want your legs like that, you kind of go backwards. And if you can see these two knuckles, all you gotta do is cut right in between them. Maybe. <laughs> Let's try the next one. These two knuckles here, I'll try to do this one a little better. You want to get right in between them and it almost comes off by itself, like that. All right, then we'll take the head. Just chop the head right off. Now we have to bird, we have to gut it. What we do is see this little space here? We'll pull the skin up. And we'll make a little incision. You don't want a big incision because you'll cut into the breast. We'll rip it apart. Now we didn't feed these chickens because we knew we were going to butcher them, but right here, if you can see this part, you don't have to get this close. Right here is the craw. If it had eaten today, this part right here would be full of food. So we don't feed them because we don't want that full. So what we want to do is separate that, the windpipe, esophagus then you pull them right out like that and you have your craw your esophagus and windpipe all together like that and they're kind of separated there okay so what we'll do is then we come around to the back and you see the rear end here we'll pop it up and you want to come just a little bit up from that and make a little incision like that and what we'll do is we'll stick our thumb in and we'll tear it open like that. You want to cut it all right, later, yeah. and then we'll put our hand in. Do you want the next? All the way. Yeah. Fine to make broth with, you know. And we'll so try to like pull out. And a lot of times this will come out with it. Not there. all the time, but most of the time, if you can there. get it, you might have to do oh, a second. Nice and we'll pull everything right on out. There are your lot. Uh, you want this, right, Kristen? Yep. All right. Kristen takes this good stuff. <laughs> you want these, one? right? Separated? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. And then in here, also, I didn't bring it out. Usually it comes out with right that, but yep. is the Don't heart. Cut your dad's on. This is the heart. So, in there is left. If you can look in there, the only thing left in there, there's a lung on that side and a lung on that side. So you go in there. Rip the lung tear one lung out, maybe, if I can get a hold of it. <laughs> My fingers are all slippery. And then you'll tear the other lung out. Sorry, I'd like a smaller knife. Are you using this one? No. Can I use that one? That's a lung. There's the other piece of a lung. So we're all cleaned out inside. The next step is we'll go down here. You want to leave this fat if you can. You want to just make a small cut down here, and a small cut down here, and around. Pull that out. Then also, you can either re remove two things. You can remove the sack off the top here, that's an oil sack, or you can remove the whole thing. I remove the whole thing, because we don't use it. So, I'll just cut that right off. And there you have a butchered chicken. Nice, perfection. And I'll rinse it out here. I can hold on to it. My slipping hands. 
Chicken, then we take it over here. And we'll throw it in with the rest of them. Alright. <laughs> okay. Can we turn it off? That's a wrap. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Alright. Well, we officially are done. We did, uh, what was our final chicken count? 96, Mike, or 95? 96. 96 chickens. So we got them all butchered today. We're just cleaning up now. As you can see, um, there's some on ice. These are some some people are taking home. Uh, legs and stuff like that. But they are... We did 96 butchered, cleaned, on ice. Those are just a few of them, but uh, we did it.